Hello, I'm a cookie man. Welcome to my cooking show where I make only cookies, nothing else. Today I will be making some chocolate to cover the cookies. Let's get started. Cookie number one. This is so much fun. Cookie number two. This one's for you. <laughs> Cookie number five. It's time to die. Wow, these special effects are great. I'm gonna get a soda. Cookie number three. You cannot escape from me. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Now that I've eliminated these pesky children, I can go to my home planet, Palestine. Here I go. Where's my wife? Shit, what the fuck? Hmm? I am a big boy, it's all me and I'm fucking hungry, shit. Good morning. Out of Toastman here. What in the blazes? Jiminy. Spunky! Time for walkies. Spunky. Hey, Rocco. Rocco, I'm hungry. I could eat a horse. Wanna get something to eat? Let's get some tacos. <laughs> Quiet! Noticed a weird aura from that person. Hey, you! Who are you going out to? Uh, you. Are you a thin loser like I am? Because I felt a very thin aura from you when you walked past me. Try to slow him down. 
What do you want? What do you what do you want from me? Ah! <laughs> Look, 
Look, it's the Todd Burglar. You would be right. That is me. I am the Todd Burglar, and you know where I came from. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Let me think. I gotta think. There Hang is on. no time for thinking. I have come for the child. I need the child's extract. No, fuck off. Oof. God damn, old baby, oh sweet mercy, Jesus Christ, that is the stuff, baby. David, this is just the worst. You are just pushing rope. It's not my fault. Henderson has been really busting my balls at the factory. When I try to make sweet love to you, all I can see is his ugly face. I'm going to the store for a pack of double A's and going home. A sack of cement with a face painted on it would be more satisfying than this. Stupid Henderson, I will soon show him, where did I put my gun? Henderson, I've got a few things I want to tell you about my penis before I put your brains into next door's rumpus room. Nice neighborhood here. It's about time someone crossed its street. Here, Lord. Yeah, ouch. That's smart. How foolish of me. Gotta remember to look both ways before I cross streets and such. Wouldn't want to die a second time. You all right there, Creekster? Looks like you took quite a fall. I'm fine, Rodney. Stop meddling in matters you don't understand. And you, don't go crossing streets you don't know. Wouldn't want to end up all bony like me. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Oh no, a rat!
Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation. Oh, uta koso waga inochidau. Those bullies won't bother me now. It's all in the pits. Finally have our test subject, I see. I honestly don't know about this, boss. I mean, I seriously just brought my grandchild here to babysit her. Silence! I do not want to hear your voice of reasoning. Now is the theorem ready, Mr. Sanders? 
Oh, yes, sir. Uh, the serum is ready. Very well, then, Bernie. We shall get on with the experiment. Well, it seems that the test subject has worn itself out. What? What on earth is happening? Hey, you seen that new sign the head start movie, man? Yeah, that looks kind of crazy, man. Yo, man, are you alright? What happened to you? Yo, man, it seems like you took a huge fall off the bar. Are you alright? Oh, God, man, it looks like you're having some kind of seizure. You just sit here and rest in this indistinct chair-like object, all right? And you calm down, man. No, listen, I can't sit down for much longer. There is a crisis that is about to happen. You have to believe my warnings. Something is coming. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right, old man. I think you're a little loopy in the head after that fall. What's coming? Like, your mom? I feared for the worst. It's too late. All right, kid. All right, you got, you got the stuff, huh? Oh my God, is that a motherfucking baby? <laughs> My grandfather said this mummy is worth millions. Okay, when he said something was coming, I didn't think he meant a giant fucking baby. Maybe open up with that next time? Yeah, and who are you anyways? My name is Bernie. Bernie Sanders. Now, we don't have much time. I have a laboratory we can go to. I know what to do. Follow me. Well, you heard the dude. Let's go. You know, I heard that sitting's pretty bad for your back, so whenever I'm on a plane, I always hover just a little bit above the seat and squat down over it. Hey, uh, all passengers, uh, there's gonna be a bit of a turbulence, so you, uh, better strap yourselves in. Ah, oh, clock. Come on, I think I can see an up ahead. All right, it's in here, this way. Oh, sweet. Man, I'm hungry. Okay, this is nice and all, but I really don't think now's the time for French food. Now, this ain't any ordinary French restaurant. This is my secret laboratory. Now, I have developed a serum which will allow me to grow and shrink at will. This is our only hope to save humanity and to stop the big baby. Stop. You're no grandson of mine, beast. It's time for you to feel the burn. Jesus Christ, did you just kick a fucking baby? It was for the greater good of humanity.
My tiny terrors. Quiet! Ace! Go out there and scare, and give me a reason to keep on living.
So what do you guys think of my new car? We're in a very sensitive vehicle. Leonard's right. It is a sensitive vehicle. Uh, Leonard. Leonard. Don't anybody forget why we're here, man. We're here to get back at our rival college. That's right. Those East Carolina University jocks have bullied us for the last time. Man, I just hate Greenville. So do I, Leonard. Those ECU pirates give the whole town a bad name. All right, here we are at the ECU frat house, where they're holding their famous Halloween party. I can't believe they all came dressed as pirates. I agree, it's a very uncreative costume choice. Okay, okay, enough with the banter. Leonard's right, let's get down to business. Okay, the fireworks are in place. Three, two, one. Ah, yeah! Take that, stupid dicks, stupid pirates! We did it. Now those rude pirates will never bully us again. Bro, you might even say, those bullies won't bother me now. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, nice. e e pirates suck, so DN beta that. Touche, Leonard, touche. It is almost done. Wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you fuckers will pay for what you did to my mother. Mashed potatoes.
are radioactive and the plate in my head is vibrating. <laughs> oh fish sticks. Filbert! Spunky! Do I look okay to you? <laughs> oh my. Hey Rocco! Got anything to eat? Rocco, I'm hungry. I could eat a horse. Hey, guys. I've got a great idea.
Time to take a piss. You fool! Will evil never rest? Oh, please! What is it, man?
Well, looks like I finally made it to Planet Gorth. I heard I could possibly find out some information about Lightning McQueen here, and maybe the guy in the plane as well. Wait, why are there police cars? Lightning McQueen was to stop through here and blew some people up. With what? Hmm. Only two shotgun shells? But wait, how do two shotgun shells completely blow s- <laughs> What? Are you telling me that he can convert his horsepower into energy and store them into the shotgun shells? And I bet they quadruple the damage they do. Why is it so hard to move? <laughs> Lightning McQueen! You know too much, child. That's why I'm here. Wait, you only show up when people know too much about you? But then... You think that's all you can see? Understands, I can't die. I see. Lightning McQueen, my name is Bones. My power manipulates the bone marrow in anyone's body, allowing me to bend, break, stretch, and even multiply the bones in anyone's body. However, since you have no bones, I'll just have to kill you with brute strength. It seems like I can calculate. I must flee. Yeah! Um, well, uh, I, I guess that was it. We're gonna hit that fucking mountain. I oughta give this pilot a piece of my foot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to kill us all. Ow, my hip. Okay. Boomer, boomer, boomer. This is a robbery. I want your hands on the ground and your feet in the air. Now! I don't want to get on the ground. It's dirty. I'm so scared. Uh, bah, 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 bah. On the ground, buckaroo! Excuse me, miss. 
to my hand. I'd like to see you try to rip this baby off. It hurts. Hello. Hi. Uh, th <laughs> thank you, son. Are you here to help me rob this here bank? No. Fuck you. I'm here to rob this bank on my own. Unintelligible. Shut the fuck up! We're coming in here and we're gonna break the banks and we're gonna take all the money and put it in our pockets of our jeans and we're gonna walk out of here with all the money. Okay, okay, this is my first robbery, guys. I need you to like put your hands up and give me all your money. And if any of you get in my fucking way, I will personally castrate you and your father. That's enough, gentlemen. Now, I don't know who any of you are, but I know who I am. Dick W. Tuggins. And I'm the only person who's going to be robbing this bank. Now, is that clear with everybody here? Do I have to prove it to all of you? Uh, but, uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't really want to prove it to you. It's, it's a lot of work. I gotta start, you know, shooting, spinning, doing flips. Yeah, you know. Uh, but, yeah, but, you know, I'm, uh, you know, so maybe I don't, I don't, you know, maybe you guys can just leave, you know. Make it easy. <laughs> now.
I'll show you, dudes. advertising like this. When I hear news, I expect news. <laughs> Please wake me, be. You think I'm some kind of fool, huh? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I'll have you know that I'm the CEO of Evil Corporation, the most evil corporation in America. Don't you run off while I'm talking to you. Hey, taxi! Hey, can you follow that guy? Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. I need you to do it right now! I'll show you my best... No! <laughs> Am I safe? No, mate. You forgot about Evil Man, not one of his many henchmen. Also, this is like way too close to come. Please back off a little bit. Where is Evil Man? Where is Evil Man? Acting like you don't know. He's six feet underground. can do, um, you have a skeleton crew. Alright, um, I guess you, um, have a point. I'm just gonna go, um, explore this castle. Oh, a TV! Ah, oh, that's nice. I could use some TV right about now. Let's check out by my good old colleagues. <laughs> Welcome to Red City News, the news show where we tell you the news about Red City. This is a burger. Man, they sure got desperate for news after my departure. I swear I've seen you before. Do you think you can do better than me? Oh yeah, yeah, sure thing. In fact, you know what? I'm coming in. Get, I'm, I'm entering this.
nauseous. I'm nauseous. You eat. Oh boy. Oh, 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 hey Rocco! Oh, hey Rocco! Don't oh, oh, think to oh, eat. Backbone and sack of protoplasm. Put it in the Oh, well, gee whiz, it seems to be another happy and non-confrontational day. It's about time I go check on my famous muffins. I sure hope nothing bad would happen to them. The consequences would be dire. Ah, yes. Seems they are about as done as disco. Time to invite the boys. Yo, what's up, dickheads? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Anyways, I got muffins over here at the crib. Ride down here and indulge them with me, huh? See you soon. Still using the house phone. Gotta get myself a fancier horn one of these days. Well, it's about time. The boys have arrived. Hello there, boys. Oh. Jiggle Jim, my longtime buddy. Welcome. Oh, I certainly would love to, but I don't wish to ruin these jeans. Oh, I joke. Oh, love you, baby. Your muffins are more plump than my ass, and I certainly would love to eat them out. I'll meet you in the kitchen. Absolutely. Make things weird in there, too, while you're at it. Oh, yeah, my wonderful cap of buddy, Coffee. How's it hanging? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, yeah, right in the liver. He's been working on his aim. And who could forget the famous Dale the Sail Slinger? What? Poppin' my brother! Thank you for inviting me! I brought a little something! What's this? Ah, oh, I see. What a lovely vice. Sail! Ah, oh, shit, you got me again. Hell yeah! That's exactly what I'm here for! Shooting deals finer than the Wild West! I must strike a good bargain on those delightful muffins, though. Let's, uh, not keep them waiting. Absolutely. Let's go! All right, gentlemen. Let's dig into these delectable muffins. What? They were right here. Where did they go? Which one of you stole my muffins? Hey, don't look at me. I know better than to fuck with your muffins. You know, I didn't do it. I can't sell anything that was stolen. I didn't take your muffins, baby. None of us here would be that brazen. But some unfortunate soul out there is. Boys, it seems pretty clear now. My muffins have been kidnapped. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh. Oh. 
You all know how that makes me feel. It takes a lot for me to suppress my rampaging urges. I have learned to appreciate the small things in life like baking and gardening to keep me in check. When that gets ruined for me, oh, I cannot control myself. Let's go on a trip, boys. It's time to bust out to the shotgun. You know what they say, any problem can be solved with a shotgun. think they might be. Things aren't looking good for thin muffins. Much like my virginity, they're long gone. Oh, shut up, ye of little fucking faith. I have a fairly good hunch where they might be, but we have to move fast. It's a rave herd! Move, assholes! This is no good. The beat hasn't even dropped yet. We could be here for hours. There's no use. Have to think of a way to fire them out. Uh, I think I can sell them a couple of them old uh, Air Chiron CDs. We have to tire them out, you say? Oh, ho, ho, darling. I got this. Oh, yeah, the best genre of music is euphoria. <laughs> no one can bounce back from a good climaxing except me, of course. <laughs> Good feeling about this place. I can feel it. Let's go. Please, none of you boys are going anywhere. Oh no, it's generic Derek, the most deadly minion in the entire street corner. How do you all feel about getting smoked like a wet blunt? A actually, actually, I was in search of you. I would like to offer you a better piece than that crumbly pea shooter you have. What do you think of this? Aw, oh, hell yeah, nice. Sam! <laughs> all right then, thanks for the upgrade, stupid. Now it's time to lie you all up. What? What kind of junk weapon is this? I only sell top quality firearms. And the bullets are so severely. be god go for fucking damned i knew you were the one responsible for this <laughs> yes it is i Jimmy the villain i was
was the one that stole your muffins. I'm surprised to see you found me so quickly. We were trying to look for pussy, but all we found was a bitch. And I am a cat person. So you finally arrived, Jackhammer Yoga. I see you brought your two friends as well. Wow, that's kind of derogatory. Only one of us is Jewish. I don't give a fuck. I am a villain. <laughs> Why did you steal Jack Hammer's muffins? Give them back, you jerk. No, I stole them because I am evil. Nothing could stop me. <laughs> Oh, God! What the hell? You just shot me in the mouth! Yes! Why did you do that? I was trying to put a cap in it. Seems like it needed one because all I see is shit spewing out of a gaping hole. Gaping hole? Where? You fucking would, Jim! Get him, boys! I want to see you try! Sam! Oh, hey! You produced no money! Of course! Because your ass is worthless! I don't think I can reach his dick quick enough, darling. Hey, quick! Anybody got coffee on them? Right here for you, brother! Right here! Give it to me! Sam!
trick for a vase. Just say, Mario, Mario. What's that noise? Yeah, where's Charlie?
Those bullies won't bother me now. Spooky. I want to be lean and mean. and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I am going to go watch the Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thought...
Simon, I've been waiting for you, my friend. I've been working on the ATV suit just for you. Go and step over there. Ramar, get off with the suit! Ramar! Ah! Stampy! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
You're my best friend. It is not I who am crazy. It is I who am mad. You're one of the good ones. Oh, joy! Terribly sorry, but I have two pairs. Crumble, bumble, bourbon, bumble, bourbon, bourbon. This was animated for too long. Crumble, bumble. Claudia has busted everyone out but me. She's the owner of the base shop, and she holds poker games in her private jet. She bets ownership of her shop if someone busts her out, but she's undefeated in over a million games, and she has no weaknesses. This automatic poker table sure is convenient. I'll go ahead and draw two. Aw oh man, this hand is so bad that it makes me want to cry. But... Terribly sorry, but I have a flush. So what's going on now? I get the pussies when I lose, so I miss a lot. That boy, he just took another loss. Guess Claudia sweeps again. No, I don't sense that kind of thing. This boy, this power about him, well, how do you figure that? The stars have told me everything I need to know about this man's destiny. A man whose tragedy shows with every bet. There's something I want to tell you, my son. I'm loaded. Whoa! But I am also dying. I know I haven't been a good father, but I want to leave you with my wealth and the secret. Here, five million dollars. And the advice? Your potential for magic is higher than any other human on this planet. And you must use it to take over the vase shop in town. Those who control the vase shop control the world. You must know this. No, I don't understand. Always. Call. Terribly sorry, but I have... Ron. Huh? Ron. Dice on Gen. Honeymoon. Oh man, I really messed up now. I have to do it. So I can achieve my goal and get the face shop. I'll show you a magic trick this game. An uncounterable spell to destroy you. Oh, what does that mean? What I'm trying to say is... I'll trade a magic trick for a vase. 
<laughs> I'd like to see it. It's already a miracle you've lasted so long. And I bet that will be the only miracle he has this game. I'll draw one. He's not folding. It looks like this will be your grave, boy. <laughs> bet. I'm terribly sorry, but I have... What? My hand is two pair, and he has my four kings. How could this be? It's impossible to cheat at this table. That was my magic trick. Sure, this table has no physical ways of cheating, as it automatically singes your fingers when it detects cheating. But you felt it, didn't you? A disturbing presence. <sighs> Stripes. For a split second, I felt something unholy behind me, as if a demon were about to relieve my flesh of its spine. But it was just a split second. That's right. It was so short, you dismissed it as nothing. But ignoring it made you doubt your sixth sense. only sense used in gambling. You see, there were no physical openings, but I tore an opening into your soul and stole the entirety of your luck. Naturally, the cards would come with it, and I would win the hand. The game's not over, but your loss is already decided. Ah! I'm melting! I'm melting! Just kidding. Sit back down, you're done. I see. Very well, then. I did it! I am now the base shop owner! I'm not gonna run any poker games, though, because that game I won was like a one-time thing. Now that I think about it, I'm not particularly good enough at any game that I could do something like Claudia did. Ha ah, ah, ha! You did good, my boy! But I still don't understand. Does this place have a phone? 